Spotico Bow River. Their new uh, budget offering from last year's catalog or a uh, new announcement just came out here in the last couple months. Designed by Phil Wilson off of his custom. It's not made in the Taichung plant, the Taiwan. It's made in China. I think probably in the same factory they do to Tenacious and some of the other budget line. The steel is 8CR13 MOV, stainless steel. You do get a pretty nice leather sheath, and this is what we're going to talk about. You know, there's been a lot of people talking about the budget steel made in China. You know, this was a purpose built knife that Spyderco came out because a lot of their fixed blades, even the smaller ones, are high priced. Uh, this is 32 bucks, you know, $32.50. You'd be hard pressed to have a, a leather sheath made. My wife makes leather sheets. And to have something like this, she's done it for people for custom knives. You know, 50 bucks, 75 bucks for something plain like this. You know, the knife and the sheath for $32. The shows of steel. They do sell an optional Boltron sheath, which is the Kydex, like this for the waterway. It's like a higher end Kydex. For an extra $22, I actually have that coming along with the version for the province when I do the province video. So I'm gonna have a bolt around sheath for that too. That one's 45. And the amazing part about this knife is 2.7 millimeters. Great cutting geometry. If you look, you know, your average kitchen knife is two millimeters or a little bit over two millimeters or less. You know, compared to the waterway, which is still a pretty small, thin, stocked blade. Compared to the mule. And then the paramilitary too. And I really like the way the tip goes up. Now this specimen, this sample here, isn't the best fit and finish. But from what I've seen on the forums, this is the oddball. Most of the knives are coming up with a decent grind. Mine is actually warped. If you look at it, it's warped and it's ground where the tip goes like that at the end so that not only does the whole blade move that way I don't know if you could see that in the camera but the actual tip you can catch the light here you can see it where the lights reflecting at the very tip I mean it's still ground decent it's still got a good edge on it I'm gonna obviously resharpen it and for the price I paid for it you know I, I'm not gonna complain I just wanted it you know made $32 with the sheath, it's not going to be perfect grind like you're going to get on, you know, a $200 knife. It's not a baton or I mean, it's not going to be something that's going to be even a heavy duty camp knife. This is for like cleaning fish, you know, uh, uh, I've been using a, a ton in the kitchen. I actually threw it in the block for a while for my wife and there's a funny story on that. I'll, I'll talk about it here in a second, but um, I've been using it to cut up you know food and it works great so I have multiple ones coming more that are going in the RV I'm going to give them away as gifts obviously my son wants one now I got the catalog the new catalog for 2019 and my wife she didn't even know I had this coming and she sees this and she goes oh I'd like to get one of those you know and I immediately pulled it out of the box I just gotten it a couple days earlier and I just handed it to her I said here you go she goes, how'd you know? You know, it is wet formed or it's been molded. Good retention, not going anywhere. You know, simple belt sheath, um, you know, belt attachment. 
just a nice package and once again 32 bucks I mean we're talking and it's comfortable you know it's a pretty neutral handle you're not going to be doing major hard cutting with the blade the small the skinny you know but you can whittle with it you can clean fish it is a you know it's a tiny bit flexible it's not going to be like a fillet knife but this is going to be a great all-around purpose blade you know Phil Wilson designs nice knives I've always liked his uh, I just I'm late to the game and I missed out on some of the better ones I'd love to have this in you know S90V with a carbon fiber handle or you know who knows maybe they'll do something like that on a higher end but for the price I think it's a it's a good option for an everyday blade throw in the kitchen you know throw in your trailer or your motorhome put it on the boat or just take it camping I mean, I've even seen a couple posts where people buy, were buying four or six and you, they're going to use them as like you know kind of alternate steak knives to have something different because it'd work great for that if you look at the angle another thing the the grind on purpose uh, doesn't come to the tip you know, it stops right there for safety reasons. It's very easy for you to sharpen if you want to do that. But on a whole, it's punching above its $32 weight, even with my specimen being, you know, off. This is a $50 to $60 knife all day, maybe even more. You know, an 8, eight uh, CR13 MOV is a good steal. I, the way Spartaco treats it, I've had no issues with it at all. So. To the waterway, this is a mule. And to the paramilitary too. So the Spartaco Bow River, they are available. The first batch sold out pretty quick, but they are back most sites. And uh, don't just buy one, buy a few.